Welcome everyone, we are back again. Today, I'm going to show you the best graphic settings for Silent Hills and how to increase your FPS using lossless scale frame generation with minimal flickering and input delay. First, change the display mode from full screen to borderless window. Make sure to click apply after making this change. If you don't, it won't switch properly and it could freeze the screen when using lossless scale frame generation. Now scroll down and go to the advanced quality settings to optimize your graphics. Make sure render quality preset is set to custom, otherwise the advanced settings won't show up. These are optimized settings for this game. But keep in mind, I'm using a GTX 1080 GPU. If your GPU is older, I recommend lowering the graphic settings get more stable performance. Personally, I keep motion blur on because it's help reduce flickering when using lossless scale in frame generation. Try these settings out and let me know it in the comment. Now let's see how these settings perform during gameplay. Alright guys, I'm in the gameplay now. You can see I'm getting around 50 FPS, sometimes dropping to 46 FPS. Oh, I almost forgot the upscaling method. If you have the latest update for Silent Hills, you can use FSR 3.0. Go to Super Sampling, select FSR 3. and choose the quality preset. You can also use Balance or Performance mode if your PC is lower in. I'm using quality mode. With that, my FPS jumped to around 60, though it's not very stable due to my weak CPU. It sometimes drop back to 50 but overall the gameplay feel very smooth FSR upscaling looks almost identical to native resolution there are barely any difference so I'm sticking with FSR 3.0 now my base frame rate is stable let's move on to activating lossless scale frame generation first you need to limit your FPS you probably heard about that before with MSI Afterburner or RTSS. Open RTSS and set your FPS limit to 30, 35 or 37 or 45. For me, 45 causes stuttering and lag, so I stick with 37 FPS. It works better than 40 on my system. Now open lossless scale frame generation. Make sure you are using latest version. 3.1.0.2 In my previous tutorial, I showed the best settings for lossless scaling. I'm using the same ones here. If you missed that, just copy the settings I'm using in this video. Let's start with Extreme Mode. X4 mode causes more flickering and input delay, so I'm sticking with Extreme. Now let's test the performance in gameplay. Gameplay is very smooth, no stuttering at all, but there is a little flickering when moving fast. For me, the performance is great and totally playable. Now let's test X2 mode. With X2 mode, I'm getting around 74 FPS based on my 30 FPS cam. There is a no noticeable flickering. I think X2 mode is actually better than X3 for Silent Hills. Less flickering and the input latency also feel better. So it's up to you guys. Try both and decide which multiplier work best for you. Let me know in the comment. In this tutorial help you leave a like, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next time. Bye.